the current governor of Abia State is actually not ready to slow down and he is doing everything massively possible to see that the good people of Abia State enjoy a good governance. Now, he has commissioned the Deep Sea Port, he has commissioned the Aba Potoko Road, he has commissioned so many projects. And trust me, as we are speaking now, he is on a working visit to um, Hungary, like he's in Hungary. And where, according to him, he said he actually had a meeting with them in his office in um, the state uh, uh, in August. And now he has gone to see for himself what he, they can actually do for the good people of Abia State in terms of establishment and investment. Now, the pictures you are seeing here are actually his visit. I'm just going to read you... Um, what he actually posted and his experience while over there now he said in august i met with the hungarian deputy ambassador in my office we discussed potential investment areas ranging from agriculture healthcare to education security and portable drinking water access now now in hungary on a working visit sorry if i call that hungry it's hungary in for a working visit and trust me, if I'm, not, if I'm wrong, please correct me in the comment section. Let's co continue. On a working visit, I have been privileged to explore this opportunity firsthand. We visited two companies that impressed me with their innovative products and services. Auto Profil, an exceptional medical aid service provider that crafts custom limb pro proteness, electronic wheelchair, and orthopedic uh, therapeutic footwear, insole for flat foot and diabetic foot. The quality and functionality of their products of their product have the potential to improve the lives of many with diabetes in Abia State. Second, Agra Beta Group, a bioenergy farm, biogas plant and bioethanol factory that self produce 1.7 megawatt of power beyond just power generation this heat from the planet can dry agricultural products like mangoes they have also excel in hybrid maize production and provide training in bioenergy farm processing we are looking forward to partnering with these companies to help them establish a manufacturing presence in Abia State through this partnership we aim to create jobs and add value to our economy. I believe that by working together with our Hungarian friends, we can achieve great things for our people. We were later hosted to a reception by Nigerian ambassador to the Hungarian, H.E. Modupe Enita Irele. I was joined by the Abia State government delegation and a business delegation from Abia State. They include Honorable Ginger Onobi Sebe. Engineer Ike Monday, Dr. Cliff Agba, Agba Eze, Mr. Chuka Ophili, Engineer Chinedu Onye, Onyezu, Engineer Ifain Clement Okore, Engineer Christian Ike Chuku Soribe, and Chief Owele Greg Okafo. This is coming from His Excellency, Governor of Abia State, the only working governor so far so good in Nigeria that is not just working but at the same time putting in every necessary effort to ensure that the good people of Abia State have a comfortable and a better life for themselves. Now, a business, a highly respected business owner by the name Charles of Play. A lot of you know this guy. He's, he's into the big entertainment business. He's into the entertainment business. Uh, uh, luxury, just luxury and all that. Came up and said, it is high time then they have to invest in Abia State. And trust me, I am saying to you now, this is the beginning, this is the opportunity for those of you who can actually invest heavily in Abia State. Trust me, with what that man is putting in place, with what he is coming into, with what he is doing for that state, it is going to be one of the best, the best among others in the southeast part of Nigeria. I mean, one of the southeastern states. Well, before he traveled, he actually made another revolution that actually caught my attention. And I just want to read it out to you guys. He said, recently I met with a delegation of the Nigeria Railway Corporation, Eastern District, led by Mr. 
Modibo Muhammad. They updated on us on the progress of the rail rehabilitation pro project undertaken by the corporation. The project objective is to restore the rail transport system in the state and the region, which has lain dormant for an extended period. The NROC official reported that the first phase of the project, which involved laying 63 kilometers of new rail tracks from Port Harcourt to Aba, is set to be completed by the end of the year. The project, the projected completion of the second phase spanning from Aba to Umaya by the first quarter of 2024. The NROC official also sought the state government assistance in coping vandalism of rail tracks stored in various parts of the state. Additionally, they requested for security patrol vehicles to enhance the security operation. We have a keen interest in the project, in this project, and fully endorse the resumption of train service in the eastern tracks. This initiative will catalyze the economic growth of the state and the region by facilitating the transportation of goods and people across different locations. The state government will partner with the NROC to ensure the railway system efficient operation in the state. will also address the security concern by deploring security agency to safeguard the railway installation across the state. The meeting was attended by the Commissioner for Transport, Comrade Sonny Oma, Commissioner for Power and Public, Sit and Public Utility, Engineer Monday, Ikechukui, and other senior appointees of the government. Now, <laughs> Alex Oti is actually, is actually, he's not, he's not just saying things like, you see him giving you pictures, live pictures, like the one you're seeing now, giving you live pictures, showing you things that he is actually putting in on ground as the governor of the state. Trust me, having a rail station in the southeast, crossing Ab Abba to Port Harcourt, Abba to Umwaya, and let's say every other part of Abia State, is actually one of the best things that will ever happen to Abia State. Now, in Lagos, there are so many people who benefit so much from the train service that I know. I mean the old train, not the new K2K2 train, the one, the old one that I know. A lot of people from places like um, Ikorodu, K2, and all of that actually use train to their various places of work in the island. Now, imagine you staying in a bar and or staying in Umaya and being able to go do your business peacefully in a bar and come back to Umaya the same day, knowing fully well that there's a train that will take you to your business place and bring you back safely. Well, I just feel I want you guys to drop a comment in the comment section. This man is not actually just working on road infrastructures alone. He is actually pushing his interest to the railway service, which is one of the best means of transportation everywhere in the world. We see China, we see Japan, we see the US. Trust me, every part of the world has accepted this dream. I want to hear your comments in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new here. I will see you guys on my next video.